Perfect Beauties, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I will show you guys how I do DIY African black suit for my skin. For my skin. Actually, I have known African black soap since childhood because my mom always buy the soap for us to use. This African black soap is when I started growing up that I start noticing two types of African black soap. The one that is in bar and the soft one. In Igbo language, we call the soft one Ncha Nkota. Ncha Nkota. Ncha means soap. Nkota means to scoop. To scoop. That one is very, very soft and that is the most original African black soap that I've ever known. And it's always prepared by average women, like um, from 50 years old up to grandmas. They are the ones that always prepare this African black soap. I used to see some of them at the market. They will carry it on their head on a mortar, African mortar. So if you need the black soap, you have to tell them what you want them to add for you or what you want to use it for. And they will add the ingredient and prepare it for you. Is well known in West Africa and I can only tell you about two countries which are best in making African black soap and these two countries are Nigeria and Ghana these are the two countries that are best in making African black soap I don't have any idea if there are any other countries in West Africa that prepare this African black soap maybe there is I don't have any idea and their black soap are very good and original African black soap is made with plantain cocoa and so many other things ashes like um, they also put in bamboo ashes or normal ashes and some other things that they also add in the black soap. One thing about this black soap is when you start using African black soap for your skin, you will never ever in your life look back to any other soap. When I grew up, I stopped using African black soap, started using all the modernized soap. Okay, recently this year, I started using this African black soap again. And since I have been using this African black soap, I have been so happy with my skin. I enjoy my skin and I love the look and the glowing. African black soap is very, very good. So I use African black soap for everything that I do on my skin. I use it on my hair. When you want to start using African black soap, make sure that you get original African black soap. And you will never ever regret ever using it. African black soap. All right, guys, before I start this video, I would like to mention that this is not a professional way of making African black soap. This is just my own method of preparing DIY African black soap for my skin. So, all I do is I do my own research and improve the ingredient that I add on my African black soap. So, I will advise anyone that is watching me now to do her own research and know the things that you will add. This is just to give you a clue of how to do the DIY African black soap. And this is just only for how I prepare my own African black soap. This is not a professional way of doing it. I repeat, this is not a professional way of doing African black soap. I didn't go to any dermatologist or any any school of cosmetics or any school of skincare this is just my own method that is more convenient for me if you look at this this is the african black soap i have many of it that i bought i bought it out, uh, around 3800 rmb so sell it here in china to students who need african black soap for their hair or for their skin African black soap cures a lot of skin problems like acne, eczema, pimples, rashes, you know, all kinds of skin problems you can count on. When you look at this black soap, this is 
original black soap. I can assure you, I can guarantee you of this black soap. This is original black soap. So when you hear, when you're talking about black soap, I hear some people say black soap did this to them. But when you need a black soap, make sure that you're ordering from a well guaranteed place. Make sure that your black soap is coming from either Nigeria or Ghana. Come with me. Let me show you how I do prepare my DIY African black soap for my skin. Come with me guys, let's go! These are the black soaps, I have many of them in this carton. Now I have to select the quantity that I need for this DIY. First, um, we have to soak it in water. I soak it at night so that in the morning it will dissolve properly so that I can use it in the morning. This is night, I soak it before I went to bed. First of all, you have to get some quantity of distilled water or boiled water. Make sure that the water that you're using is a distilled water or boiled water. Don't use any water that you get from tap. Note, I am a student living at the school dormitory, so don't expect so much from my kitchen. I already have aloe vera growing at my corridor, so it's easier for me to get aloe vera. The next day, the things I'll be using for this DIY are tomatoes, orange, um, papaya, apple, and aloe vera. So this is morning, and I have to check the I have to check the black soap to know if it has dissolved. So I was thinking that by this time it would have dissolved properly, but I noticed that the black soap hasn't dissolved very well so i have to melt those ones with hot water and um, this is the first sieve you can see under the black soap has charcoals and some other stuff that they mix on the black soap okay look at the tomatoes i'm using tomatoes papaya orange lemon apple aloe vera um, for this diy so first thing you have to do is just squeeze the orange juice out and the lemon juice squeeze them out um, is the water that you're going to use to blend all these uh, apple and other stuffs so you don't need to add extra water to the blender so you're going to use this uh, lemon and orange juice to blend all those stuffs so before you cut out aloe vera you have to remove the tons but i noticed that the aloe vera that i got at first is not enough so i have to cut out another aloe vera so i used two aloe vera for this normally i usually use two oranges but this time i use just one orange for this day i want make sure you cut everything that you're going to use for this diy cut the fruits in pieces cut them the sizes that will be good for your um, blending machine then separate the seed from the orange juice before pouring it into the blending machine then you can blend all the fruits together make sure that you blend them very very well make sure that it's well blended to remove the sound of this blending machine so that it won't disturb you guys i have to put it in silence but you can see right now that all the fruits are blending you can see everything that i'm grinding all of them together and now that i'm done uh at first i wanted to use sieve to sieve out the thick parts you know 
to use only the liquid part of the juice but it was so thick that it cannot go through the sieve so i have to pour it inside so <laughs> this is the second and the last stage of sieving the first one was to sieve out the charcoal the sand and all the substances that they use in making the black soap that is left under the water the second one is to make sure that the liquid soap is clear and neat so that's why i'm sieving the second one so this is the final stage and also another one is that if you after this stage you can mix whatever like this is brightening oil if you like to add brightening oil to your liquid soap you can just add it and please be sure of the quantity that you're adding when you look at my skin color you cannot say that i'm white i'm chocolate color and i try so much to maintain to that chocolate color this is preservative i got this preservative from here in china from online store and please this thing is just my own measurement i you know the measurement that i felt that is okay i'm not using any particular measurement for it okay and this is honey honey okay i got this african honey from those here that are selling honey i got it from their store um this is okay please after adding all these things make sure that you stir them very well make sure that you stir it very very well so that all the ingredients all the preservative and honey will be together so that it won't be like honey is one part and preservative is in another part and later i turn all these things into this container i keep this one in my bedroom and this uh, container is quite easier for me to turn it into the smaller ones when it finishes thank you guys for watching please um if you haven't subscribed please subscribe like and hit the bell button and also please drop your comments and what you have to say um please i need to hear from you guys drop your comments on the comment section thank you so much bye